What's up? This is PWTCJ giving you a review on the Batman Legacy Series 1 Mr. Freeze. Alright, Mr. Freeze, just like all the other Batman Legacy Series 1 figures, will come in this new Batman Legacy Series, well, Batman Legacy Series, um, new packaging. Uh, it's a car, uh, card, it comes with a lot of artwork and everything. So, here is the comic book poster that comes with Mr. Freeze. And the comic book poster is based on, well, the figure is based on the comic book poster. So, you see Mr. Freeze, and that's basically what he's based on. So, Mr. Freeze comes with a name display plate that features his name, the Batman logo on top, the Batman logo on the bottom, and the DC Universe logo. And it also says copyright, stuff like that. Alright, so, Mr. Freeze features articulation just that of a DC Universe Classics figure. And, to start off the new Batman Legacy line, Mr. Freeze does feature an action feature. So watch his head. As I turn the waist, Mr. Freeze's head turns. But, that means, because of that um, action feature, that there will be no articulation in the head and no articulation in the waist besides the turning. So, I'm not too disappointed, though. Um, he features a backpack that is removable. But I don't know why you would want to remove it, because the tubes are stuck to his arms. So you're basically just stuck with it on his back. No options there. He features a gun, a blaster with little icicles hanging from there. And Mr. Freeze Dutch feature another action feature. Um, I did not know he featured this until I took a little closer look at the gun and saw a little hole on the top thing, squirter, whatever. And then I started to think there's a tube connecting from that to the backpack. So I started to look around on the backpack and saw that this top was different than the other top. So then after I pulled on it with some force, I realized that it comes open. Although mine comes off easy. I don't know if that's a lot of problems with other figures or anything. But you put, I guess you put like water in there. I don't know why they would have you put water in there though since this is a adult collector figure. So, and once you take the thing out, my, on mine, it's a little hard to put it back in. And mine is kind of loose for some reason. Alright, so I got it in. You see the legs, they just wobble all over the place. But he's a great figure. And I don't know how the water's supposed to come out. I don't know if you're supposed to pump something or press something, but they have a comment about that. So, Mr. Freeze. You see, if I try to stand him, the knee gives out because of the heavy backpack on the back, which is kind of annoying. So let me try to stand him again. You see? It's just no help. Although I really like the sculpt, and I think that this is a great figure to pick up. Um... See, it's even kind of hard to stand them in the name tag plate. Alright, so, Mr. Freeze, he's an awesome figure. And will have no problem fitting in with your DC direct figures. Or your DC classic figures so he is a great figure 
And yeah. Stay tuned for Batman and Joker. Bye.